What a tank, right where he was supposed to be. All right, y'all, so what we're doing right now is we're just gonna power fish these grass lines. High tide right now, and a lot of bait pushed in near the uh, shoreline, so that's what we're gonna target. We're gonna target the bait, the shoreline, the grass line. We're gonna keep power fishing, keep moving, see if we can uh, find some fish feeding. We don't wanna stay in one spot too long. We wanna keep uh, a couple different presentations in front of their face, keep alternating, and uh, kind of see if we can find a couple bites along these points, these textbook fall fishing zones. Got him. We're on. We're on Jack. Got him right there in that little cut. Perfect. I had to switch over to the Haas Helix, man. Weedless presentation. It's choked out in here. Nice red. Let's go, man. What a tank. Right where he was supposed to be in that little cut right there between those two little spoils nice nice tank oh yes whoo that's what we needed Whew, you guys beautiful redfish right here absolute tank there we go there's your mulligan right there oh lebron's mulligan right there on the slot machine man ballistic mq 3000 getting it done out here Whoo! just told y'all the mulligan is going to be the lure to throw this uh this ball and it's true all right there we go i'm gonna go ahead and give this fish really nice release there he goes Yum. love it dude Woo! that was a good catch these fish are uh appear to be moving back into these back areas it's going to be warming up a little bit quicker back here in these creeks and cuts and those fish are probably going to be moving in here soon Okay, throwing the wake bait up against the grass line was the ticket. Woo. High water levels, if you guys can see, <laughs> all this grass is flooded out. So I was throwing the wake bait up against the grass line, trying to call these fish in out of that grass. Wake bait gets it done. Oh, the bait fell out right there. Oh, that's why he bent the hook out. That's another prime example of why these hooks aren't any good. If you guys can see that right there, look at that. That thing is just toast, dude. There we go. Redfish for the wake bait, you guys. Love it, love it. Love power fishing these grass lines. That's what we're going to be doing this fall. A lot of power fishing, and the wake bait is a great option for it. Let's go. All right, we're going to get this fish on back. Oh, get it. There it goes. Yo. Later, dude. Oh, that's not how I... Wanted to release him, but he's gone anyway. Back into the grass. Throwing that wake bait around those grass lines, I was getting hung up with some of that floating grass that was around those grassy areas. So I decided to switch over to a mulligan, uh, and I did that with one of the Haas football jig heads. Now, there wasn't a whole lot of grass uh, from the bottom so as long as I kept my bait near the bottom portion of the water column I would be fine so switching over to that mulligan with a 90 degree load on there to make sure that bait lasted a good while I was set up for success I'm on I'm on nice Fred Nice red, y'all. My head cam just died. I saw a school of mullet in front of me. I thought it was mullet cruising the grass line. I threw the mulligan right in there with the mullet. And I got chomped. Let's go. Right here on this point. Textbook fall spot on this grass line. That's what we're talking about. 
man, it feels good to be back, y'all. I've been out for a while with shoulder surgery, man. Still not 100%, but we can still set that hook. Yay, yay! Oh, Fred Mulligan. I saw him that Haas football jig head. <sighs> Let's go. You! Awesome. There you go, guys. About a 25, 26, 27 inch redfish, somewhere in there. Solid, right there on that Fred Mulligan. <laughs> right there in the corner of the mouth. Textbook false spot, just like I said. There you go. Fred Mulligan, baby. Really quick, I want to show you guys how I'm able to find these fish. We're in our Smart Fishing Spots app here, and the trend that you're going to want to stick to when you're looking for finding fish in the fall, power fishing, is covering water. You're going to want to move along a long expanse of area uh, or cover a large flat so that you can cover a lot of water and increase your chances of finding fish in that area. So we'll take this, this uh, type of area for example. What we would do is pick this shoreline right here and we would cover as much of it as possible fan casting left to right from the shoreline to the flat so that we could increase our odds of finding those cruising fish now as i said we uh, will hit those high probability zones so we won't push too far back in any of these creeks or any of these backwater coves really what we'll try and do is focus our efforts around points just like this keep hopping along the shoreline keep moving because typically those points will put more dissolved oxygen in the water they will also be uh, a good place for those fish to ambush any bait that's coming by so those are just going to be textbook spots to uh, look for when you're power fishing. Another great thing to do, especially as we get into these colder months, is come over here into the map layers in the Smart Fishing Spots app and turn on that oyster beds layer. As you guys can see here, uh, it identifies a bunch of oyster bars in this area so that I know where uh, those high probability zones may be. Those fish may tend to stick around those oyster bar uh, saturated areas as temperatures start to cool off. So uh, that oyster bed layer is very helpful when you're looking for those areas. Also, you can find seagrass in those areas as well just by clicking on that layer right there and those are identified in green but uh if you guys want to pick up any of the tackle that i used on this trip the lebron's mulligan is coming out real soon you guys be looking for that as it's about to drop in our fishstrong.com tackle shop and that wake bait we have a very new uh proprietary wake bait coming soon so be on the lookout for that as well if you guys want to pick up any of the tackle we used in this video we'll link all that down below but if you want some more information about fall fishing power fishing or or even the Smart Fishing Spots app, be sure to check us out at fishstrong.com or at the link provided below. See you in the next video.